and right back here on the back side of the family monument there's Troy Smith US Army Air Force World War II he died in 2009 right next to him is his wife Dolly she died in 2013 and Troy Smith Jr just 2012 and here's a daughter Leslie they got this brick around the family plot marking it out and there's a bench on each side of the family memorial says Sonic on both sides of the benches and it's a very large monument it says the family of Troy Smith Troy Newell Smith senior was born in Oilton Oklahoma in 1922 he attended Mountain View School and Seminole High School in 1940 he married his sweetheart Dolly Twiggs before going into the Army Air Corps in 1943. After World War II ended, they returned to his wife and two children in Oklahoma. He began driving a milk truck and then a bread truck route as he pursued a desire to own his own business. Between 1948 and 1953, Troy operated various restaurant concepts in Shawnee, Oklahoma. One was a small root beer stand called the Top Hat. Service with the speed of sound was the tagline for his little drive-in. An entrepreneur in every way, Troy focused on turning Top Hat into a successful drive-in concept. He devised or championed many innovations now considered standard features of the modern day drive-in such as diagonal parking stalls, canopy covers, intercom ordering devices, online music and food delivery by car hops on roller skates. He was a simple man, yet one of great character and integrity, as seen by early franchise agreements that they were sealed merely by handshakes, and royalties were calculated based on the number of sacks ordered from the suppliers. Troy lived and breathed Sonic with unbridled passion and enthusiasm, grounded by laser-like focus on customer service. His positive influence over generations of people associated with the Sonic brand simply cannot be calculated. Ultimately, his joy came from providing opportunities to others. The professional success of thousands of people can be attributed to his humble man from Oklahoma. And I enjoy me some Sonic. I'm a number one man. I like me a Sonic number one. And right over here, we have a monument to Wally Post. Wally Post was the father of modern aviation. First to solo around the earth and discover the jet stream, self-taught scientist. He was born in Texas. He was the first man to solo around the world. He did it in seven days. Howard Hughes said it was the most remarkable flight in history and 50,000 people were waiting for him when he arrived in New York City. In December 1934, Popes flew into the stratosphere over Bartlesville, Oklahoma and is credited with discovering the jet stream. On August 15, 1935, Post and his fellow Oklahoman, Will Rogers, were killed in a plane crash on takeoff from the remote Eskimo fishing village near Point Barrow, Alaska. I worked in Point Barrow, Alaska, 2010. The only way in there is to fly in or to go in on boat when it isn't frozen. There's no roads in and out of there. And also, 
noted is that his funeral was the largest in Oklahoma history. Where have we heard that before? Pretty Boy Floyd. Right behind the monument, you'll see this little pathway that goes up on the grass. And this is the post family plot. So this is where Wiley's buried. Right up here to your left at about 11 o'clock. This is the grave. Wiley Post, 1898-1935. A little propeller on there. It's awful windy out here today. Hopefully the sound is good enough. But I had a minute, so I figured I'd run out and make a quick video. Yeah, this bell tower is probably 70 or 80 feet tall. And it looks out over this reflecting pool that had fountains in it at one time. It's empty now. But right here along each side are plots. Here's a couple right here, Brigham. Here's a little family plot area right here. And here's another one, Wilson. I would imagine these are pretty pricey. Spare no expense.